All right, guys, welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. I'm the Fig Heel, and this video is brought to you by my new book, The Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia 2023 Edition. This is the modern edition, all things from 2010 to 2023. If you're a modern collector, you need this. has every elite, every basic, every ultimate, AEW, NJPW, even the independent companies like the one we're going to be taking a look at today, Hastel Toys, official grapplers and gimmicks. And here it is. These are the Farmers, Dennis Knight and Mark Canterbury, a.k.a. formerly known as, I should say, uh, the Godwins, and they are part of Series 3, as you can see right here. It has a spot for you to mark if you have it mint on card, loose, and the value of all that you have so that you can tally it up right here. Um, you can order this today on HeelBooks.com. has a forward by Xavier Woods, photography by the AEW Jazz Wars photographer Matthew Goldberg. And uh, it's definitely a good tool, especially if you want to get your collection insured. They do want to have some kind of inventory. But that's not what we're here for. I am very excited. We are going to be unboxing the Farmers. This is Mark Canterbury and Dennis Knight, which is uh, Henry O. Godwin and Phineas I. Godwin, Hog and Pig. But I'm excited because these two come with accessories. And we haven't gotten an accessory in the Hastel Toy Grapplers and Gimmicks line since... Smoke Train, a.k.a. formerly known as I should say again, uh, The Godfather. I do love one thing, that these are in the same color gear as their BCAs. Like, touches my heart. I'm a Hasbro kid. I'm a BCA kid. So putting them together is such a win for me. But we're going to take a look first at, at Henry O'Godwin, Mark Canterbury. Um, let's look at the packaging. So here, nice little portrait of him. In his overalls with the yellow shirt, very iconic. Uh, he's got his action here, the farm flattener. He does come with a bucket, and I can't wait to show you like the insides of it. But I don't want to talk about the figure yet. We're going to talk about the carding. The typical mission statement of Grapplers and Gimmicks. This is Series 3 that also had uh, Savio in it. But here is the artwork. And you'll see right here. This was designed January 26th, 2023. So nine months later, after the design was made, we have it in hand. Um, and it looks very much like the design. So, man, I'm so excited about this. I've said it a hundred times. I like the authenticity to the original Hasbro line. Um, if you wanted to keep these mints on card, I do think that they would go very well with your um, original Hasbros. Like, for instance... You know, a lot of companies kind of keep it similar, but not exact. I love the blue to the red. It just uh, brings me back to my childhood and being at Toys R Us with all of these things uh, on the uh, on the shelf. So let's open this one up again. Just like Juan Rivera, this does um, open up not too easy because I know people were worried about Nelson Frazier coming off the card. Um, this doesn't seem like it will. I am so excited about this slap bucket. This is awesome. All right. So, all right. The joints are not loose. There's no cracking on the sides. Now, because of the hair, which I'll show you, because of the hair, you can see, you can't really turn his head because of the hair there. So, um, so the head looks like Actually, everything looks like it might have been cast in blue, is my guess. I think that might be the primary color. So the skin tone on the face is painted on. Uh, but honestly, it works. Unless you get super, super close, I wouldn't even have noticed. So he's got the bent arm, long arm with the elbow pad. This one I noticed is kind of based off of IRS. So you'll notice he's got the bent arm on the left and the straight arm on the right and if this had a real action he would do the thing where he lifts up and he stomps that's why it's the uh, farm flattener so that's pretty cool actually we'll put this over here um so a lot of great colors here we got the blue overalls with some good detailing i love the gold on the uh fasteners right there as well as the suspender part right here it's got the so you can extend them or tighten them which is pretty cool the boots, they have the uh, the heel molded onto them as well as the laces. They do have like, like a flat finish, which I've always said that I like. I like that prototype look. Um, he's got the long hair coming down the back, that signature green hat 
which you just know should have a John Deere logo on it. He's got the goatee and the uh, the chin strap going on there. The signature um, Hasbro eyes are in effect here, as they are with uh, pretty much all of these, which is a line over the top and then like basically a circle in the middle. That's kind of how Hasbro did them, which I always loved, that simplicity. Um, the elbow pad has some detailing in it. You can see where the actual pad in the elbow is, which is a very nice touch. Um, as I said on the Juan Rivera, the fingers look very Hasbro-esque. They're not just like boxy. But here is the slot bucket I was talking about. I love this. It does have a movable handle. And it looks like a pail. It's got dents in it, but check this out. Inside is the slop. Wow. I freaking love that. So let's see, I guess you would put it like that because both of his hands are closed. Um, so he doesn't really hold it, but you can like rest it on his hand like that, right on his wrist. I think it's a nice look. It's a fun figure. We got the Godwins here. So honestly, I'm digging this one. It stands well. If I had a So if I had a critique, it would be that he could hold the actual bucket. Um, but other than that, I dig this. I love the colors on it. I think they pop. I think the colors they use are very, very good um, and toyetic. You know, it makes each single figure stand out. But let's take a look at Dennis Knight, Phineas, a.k.a. Midian. Um, so... Again, he's got a nice portrait here. You can tell he's got some uh, tar in his mouth. The camo hat. There's a signature. The pig pen punch. On the back, it has his artwork. And it says that that is from January 31st. Again, nine months later, we have it. Um, reading if there's anything on there that needs to be said. No, not seeing anything. But... What I didn't even realize is he comes with a pig, which I'm excited about. They are pig farmers. Again, this uh, bubble is very attached. So if you're a mint on card collector, you don't have to worry about this coming off. Um, now, this one, very similar to the IRS as far as the action goes. I feel like he would have the same action as uh, Henry O, but... He is in the vein of the Bushwhackers. Now, I just grabbed Bushwhacker 2 um, in the tan, but you could obviously compare it to the original in the black, too. So, a little stuck there, but it moves perfectly fine. Um, but as you can see, he does have that Bushwhacker vibe going on there. So, I clearly believe that this was based off of the Bushwhacker mold of the Stomp. Um, so... Same thing. I think they have the exact same bottom, actually. They do. They have the exact same legs, which is a nice touch. And I think they have the exact same torsos. Yep. So the only thing different on them is their arms and their heads, which is nice. Mitch finally gets to reuse some parts and be able to, you know, start building a line, which I think is a great thing. Uh, so he's got the white long sleeve shirt as opposed to the short sleeves. Uh, the same thing. We got the fasteners there in the gold as well as the tighteners. About three-quarter length sleeves. Same detail. I didn't notice this on the other one. But, yep. Okay, so he's got the spots on the back here with some more gold fasteners. Very nice. Again, you can't really move the head because of the hair um, draping over the sides, but that's okay. He's got that look like he does on the card where he's uh, got the tar in his mouth, chewing that tobacco. Teeth are real white. He's got those signature halves for eyes I was talking about. But I think the camo is really nice on this. I think it's a nice looking camo. The light green with the uh, brown in there. You can see, not the widow's peak, but the peak of his hair there. As well as the fasteners on the snapback style hat. So I think that works really well. He comes with a pig accessory. Which, the it's... I don't know what the material is, but it's it's uh, flexible enough. So we got Babe the Pig here, kind of looks like. 
Very cool. Detailing in the face, eyes, ears. There's the feet. He's even got a squirrely tail. I mean, a swirly tail back there. A um, little bit of texture on the back as well. Some texturing, as you can see, as far as the detail. Now, since he doesn't have hands, I would assume that you're supposed to put it like this, right in his arm. And honestly, I think that's so freaking cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it does. It's got to go on the left. I think that Phineas um, has to go on the left. And this one can really go in either hand. But I think it's better in the left as well. So they're both holding something in their left hand, I guess. But... I gotta say, I'm digging these these Godwins. We haven't had Godwin figures um, since the Shotgun Saturday Night Confederate Flag uh, variants, and I love these. I'm a Hasbro fan, BCA fan. Love the yellow and the white shirt, and they kind of match the BCAs, but a little bit different. Definitely an upgrade on the bucket. I love that he comes with a pig. I wish the original BCA came with a pig, but very cool. I'm a fan. So far, I am a completist on the main line of Hastel Toy grapplers and gimmicks and i'll be honest with you i'm gonna keep going they got mike Drosy, which is duke the dumpster Drosy. they got oscar coming carlito uh a bunch of others and they're moving at a rapid pace uh this company started one year ago here we have seven figures already in the main line not including the variant of uh godfather which that would make eight and then these two have a variant too so that's ten 10 figures in 12 months. I think that's a really damn good thing. And I'm happy to have uh, these in my collection. I think they look good. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of them below. Are you a fan of the Godwins? I'm not sure. If it was... I always talk about this in these retro videos. I'm not sure that Phineas would have gotten a Hasbro. But I am confident, super confident, that Henry O would have gotten a original Hasbro because he was on the roster before they became the Godwins. It was just Henry O, right? I think like early 95, I want to say, when he was just the pig farmer. So I do think that he could have gotten an original Hasbro had it continued for maybe another series, maybe two. I do think he would have gotten one 100% because he was that occupational gimmick that was hot at the time, especially for toys. So yeah, let me know what you think of these below. I'm digging them. I do love the cards. It makes me sad I open them because I kind of do love these blue to red cards it would look awesome uh on display but we don't have room for everything mint on cards so hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter at fake heel twitter is at the fake heel pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia modern edition 2010 to 2023 available now on heelbooks.com and join whatnot at whatheel.com and you will get 15 dollars off your first purchase guys I really do think that Hassel Toy is putting out a nice product, especially if you're a displayer. I don't. I would never suggest playing with these and bashing them together. Not really any modern retro. Like it's just not what they're made for. These are made for adult collectors. So if you're into that, I definitely think you should pick these up at HasselToy.com. So I dig them, and I think you will too. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.